Fantasy Heavyweight Division Collision. This man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of the striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Big Daddy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come out your corners, come out fighting. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Huge kick to the leg. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. And now he got hurt bad. Oh, well, both fighters 
pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Keep moving, keep moving. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Lands the ground and pound strike here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Just missed with the left there. Officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Second round underway. Try to establish that jab. Huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Big head kick lands. Rips the body there for good measure. Big leg kick land. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Timely defense there, huge loss. Oh, he struck right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh! really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very oh. quickly. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice high kick. One coming. Big hard punch land. Now he gets back to range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Double. Oh! And that's gonna do it. Unbelievable. What a 
behind. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. Now we go inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Alta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Big Daddy. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. We don't need the scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may, because this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and got the finish.